I always get a kick out of seeing it actually working. It's always cool. So I'm live on YouTube. That's awesome. It looks like I'm live on Facebook. I just get such a kick out of it actually working. All right, let's see if I can actually see it on live. So I sure hope on Zoom class we have Fatima and Melody. I hope we get uh, um, Luca and Una and Caitlin to come on because they wanted to draw the um, they wanted to draw the interior and exterior one point perspective. That's what we're going to draw today. Today's lesson is going to be about twenty five minutes because I have a New York. In New York City, I'm doing an assembly of, of virtual Zoom for the City College Academy of the Arts. It's so cool. I've done two yesterday and two today. It just, it's just so neat. I get them for, look at the lessons that we've been doing. This was uh, this was uh, one program yesterday for sixth graders. Uh, that they, Actually, that, that, that was for uh, eighth graders, actually. And, and we just had such a blast. That was a, like a 50-minute, 45-minute program. Then this was another program we did. We did every different theme. That was a, uh, you know, pencil rocket, penguin, flying T Rex. Then we did the moon robot, moon craters, moon kitties. Then this morning, this morning we did the. Uh, oh, go ahead and push record, uh, Melody. Thank you for doing that. Uh, so we're recording. There is and there is Madeline. Go ahead and let uh, Madeline. So. Uh, so what I was saying is that this this morning, yesterday and today, we've been doing assemblies at the City College Academy of the Arts, and that was one program we did with the eighth graders. And then we did the sixth graders, another program yesterday. I, so I'm recording these and giving the links to the school, so they can uh, the kids who watch one can watch all four. And then this was the one we did this morning with the shark and the fish and the seahorse. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that cool? So the kids. Uh, any of the 6th to 7th, 8th graders at the Academy, City College Academy of the Arts in New York City, Manhattan, they can watch all four hours of these, okay? So I'm just so excited about that. So that's why this program is not going to be an hour. It's going to be a little bit short of that. Now, just to remind you guys, Una and Fatima, the whole point that we're always, this is week 40, right? This is our, our Fine Arts uh, Academy here. I got to put my notes back up here. Got a whole pile of notes. Remember, this is our week 40 of our Fine Arts Academy. Week 40. We've done 40 weeks. Can you guys believe that? 40 weeks. The last student standing. Woo! Take your hand. Take your hand and go, woo! You guys can watch me today, Madeline and Fatima and, Ma and Melody and Luca and everybody on Zoom. You can watch me. You can see both cameras on um uh, Facebook and Instagram. Whoops, I forgot to get Instagram going. I knew I forgot to do something. Oops, I got to do, before we start the drawing, I'll get Instagram going here. It only takes me a second here to do this. So let's go plus. Let's go live. And let's, let's, let's go live right away. Let's just go live. It's checking the connection. I love, I love going live on Instagram. And let's zoom that in. And I think we have it. Maybe a little more out here. Ah, it's a little, little distorted, but ah, you get, you can see most of it here. All right. Well, I'm just so glad you guys are with me. Maybe if I twist it, turn it out just a bit here. Does that straighten it up just a bit? It's always a challenge on these with these, uh, stretchy pull things I'm using. Well, now I'm just making a mess of it. All right, I'll just leave it alone. There we go. That's as good as it's going to get. Anyhow, we're going to draw from flat to 3D today. We're going to do interior and exterior. Fatima wants to draw McDonald's. We're going to draw the interior and the exterior because Luca wanted it. And where is he today? I'm going to use a ruler and a piece of paper and my pencil. Usually I don't use a ruler, but today I'm going to quick... Quick note before I start, guys. Quick note. Quick note. It, I I I have I got the next shipment of these these uh, PBS icons. Look at my face up there. There's Mister Rogers, Lavar Burton, and uh, there's me, Commander Mark, and Bob Ross. And this is uh, 
This these are this is these are prints, eleven by seventeen inch prints you can get from my website, and uh, they the the goes to my nonprofit and the sales go to give the summer art camp scholarships to kids up there at my uh, summer art camps. It's very cool. So if you want to get your art print of the Mount Rushmore eleven by seventeen, I'll autograph it and send it to you by artist Michael Clamerino. Also, if you guys uh, want, this is our next week's our last week of the Fine Arts Academy Everyday Drawing. And I hope you guys out in the world of YouTube and Zoom and Instagram, sign up for my summer camp. My I appreciate the students. I appreciate your business. And I think you're going to just love, love, love the information and the imagination adventure that we're going to have. We just have so much fun drawing. Well, let's get down to it. I'm going to do two drawing cities. So put a dot in the middle of your piece of paper. And <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to put draw a line down the middle. Look, I missed my dot entirely. But that's okay. I'm going to do two drawings today. I'm going to put over on this side, over on this side, I'm going to draw the, the frame. I'm going to draw the, the, this picture frame. That'll be just a really loose scribble sketch. I'm going to do an interior. And over here, just a, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. Do an exterior. All right, so we're going to do... We're going to do the interior 3D. We're going to use today's idea is one point perspective, which is really alignment, using alignment, one point perspective. Perspective comes from the Latin word spec, which means uh, to view, to see, and perspective means to view, to see the uh, the depth. Some things are closer than others, okay? So we have Luca coming in here, perspective. So this is our idea. We're going to draw one point perspective. And so over here, we're going to draw the interior. This is what Luca wanted, this is the interior. And then I'm going to do one of the exterior. Maybe we'll do a road or a row of buildings. Did I? Oh, I can't have exterior. I'm having a confidence spelling crisis. Help me with exterior out there on Instagram or on Facebook. Hey, Donovan. Hey, Robert. How you doing? Help me spell exterior. I'm having a mental block. Exterior is that right? It just does. It looks wrong. Is that right? Did I get it right? I was. You can tell I was always doodling and drawing when I should have been practicing my my uh, spelling here. All right, interior and exterior. Hello there. Is look at this on uh, people on uh, Instagram. I'm going to wave. All right. So one point perspective. So I'm going to use for the interior or for the exterior one. <laughs> I'm going to use this page of my book. Uh, you can draw in thirty days. And this one is page 171. This is a great book. I totally recommend it, you guys. Over a million of my books are sold, and this is probably half a million of these. So 171. So this is this is what we're going to do on this one. This this is the interior. See, we're going to draw a room with one point. So we're going to use the interior. We're going to use You Can Draw in 30 Days. I'm going to put the title. You Can Draw. See that? That's what we're going to draw here. We're going to draw the interior. Uh, for that one, and then the you can draw in 30 days, and this is page 171. Okay, so on this one, we're going to draw use you can draw, you can draw in 30 seconds. We're going to use two different books in 30 seconds. Now, you can't finish the drawing in 30 seconds, but just getting that start, you take it a few seconds of crazy courage to get that to get that to start, and this is page. Uh, 64 and 141. So this one, this is this book. Now you can't get, you cannot get this book on uh, Amazon.com. This one you have to get from my website at markkissler.com. It's at the bottom of your screen there, markkissler.com. And uh, it's a wonderful. It's two pounds. It's two pounds to ship. Two hundred pages. This book you can get on Amazon. Dot com. Okay. All right. So let's start right away. In the middle, this is going to be the. Uh, uh, put a dot in the middle. This will be our, our room. We're going to draw an interior room. for This is for Luca. This is Luca wants to draw his bedroom. So we're going to draw this. And I'm going to put a box. This will be the back wall of his bedroom. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. But I will use I will use a ruler here. So I'm going to zoom this camera in. I'm going to zoom this one in so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'll zoom this one in so you can see what I'm doing. And I think I'll put that one up there. And I'll twist it just a little bit. And I'll push this 
I think I'll pull that out just a bit. All right. So I'm going to use a ruler. I'm going to put the ruler on the my pencil on the dot as a fulcrum. And I'm going to come down to the where the see this is the corner of the room. I'll put the dot my pencil up here on the corner of the the room here. Well, I'll I'll put my pencil. I'll keep my pencil here. This is the fulcrum, right? And then I'll use the ruler to line up with the top of the now you can do this freehand, but I'm just going to use the ruler to help me draw the tops, the ro the roof, and then draw the the. So there we go. We, we're going to have in our room here. See, so you can take this and you kind of erase that. So you got a room, right? You got a room in here. Now this really depends on on where Luca wants his bed. I'm going to put his bed over uh, the the uh, the and I'll put the foot of his bed right here. So I'll draw a horizontal line. That's going to be the foot of his bed, and then this this will be the end, and this will be it's a it's a cool, comfortable memory foam air mat, uh, uh, memory foam mattress. So look, I use the my use my pencil as my vanishing point guideline. You see, so there's it's going off. There's his bed now. The thickness of his bed's a vertical line, uh, straight up and down, and then the bottom that's the, the will line up. That'll be the bottom. So I'll use the I'll use my pencil again. And I'm gonna draw. See this? I got there's the bottom of his bed. Isn't that cool? So there's there's the foot of his bed. In fact, I'm gonna make his pillow. I'm gonna give him a big giant poofy pillow right here. There's his pillow. And now he uh, he loves you know what? He he loves kitty cats. So his pillow is like a kitty cat. I'm gonna get here's his pillow. Like his pillow is like has a little kitty cat. He has a kitty cat pillow. He doesn't tell anybody because he's a teenager, but he loves, he's had this since he was three years old, this little kitty cat pillow, and he sleeps on it. All right, then here's his blankets, and the blankets come down, and then, now, he, I know he's a super cool, hip teenager, but he loves, he, he just has, he loves all his, he, he has like moons and stars on his, and and a sun. <coughs> And planets. He loves his blankie. He loves his blankie. See, this is his. He's had this since he was very young, and he just keeps it because he loves it. He loves his blankie. And his little brothers and little sisters try to take it from him, but he freaks out. He goes, Give me back my blankie. That's my blankie. So here's Luca, the teenager, with his cool hip space blankie and his kitty cat pillow. All right, now he has a he has a drawing desk over here. He loves to draw, so I'm going to draw his. I'm going to put his drawing desk over here. So draw a horizontal line over here, and I'm going to draw his drawing desk. So put my finger here, or my pencil on the fulcrum. That's the uh, that's the alignment. That's the one point perspective, and then I'll tw twist it. And I'm going to draw his drawing desk here, and I'm going to line this up. I'm going to put my pencil here. Line it up with the end. So then this will be his drawing desk over here. So here's his drawing desk. And here's the thickness. Now he's got his chair right here, right? So actually, so this, I'm going to have, Luca's going to be drawing. So here's Luca. He's sitting here. He's sitting on his on his chair. This is his chair. And there, there's Luca. He's, he's his arm. Is on this table. He's going to be busy drawing here, and you can see his hand. You see his pencil in his hand over here. Okay, I sure hope. Let's go. Are we still here? I wonder what happened with my. Uh, all right. So we're back on Instagram. Sorry about that, Instagram. So here's Luca. Luca's here. He's he's looking at his drawing. He's got here's his cool hair, and he's he's concentrating on his drawing. And he's sitting there. He's I'm, he's going to be sitting on his stool here. So I'm going to give him a, a little foreshortened stool. And his there's his legs. His legs go underneath the table. And there's his arm. And now take your eraser. We'll clean this up. All right, so we have... 
excuse me, we have Luca. There's Luca in his room. One point perspective. There's his cool bed with the kitty cat pillow. And there he is with his drawing paper and all these pencils. He has all his art supplies on his. And he's, I'm going to put like a, a couple cups. Look at, look at all these pencils. He just loves drawing. He has all kinds of pencils back here. All right, lots of supplies. Now, what else are we going to put in his room? Well, I'm gonna. He has a really cool from the ceiling right here. I'm gonna put a foreshortened circle up here, and check this out. He's got this really cool uh, light system that comes down. This is really well. Actually, before I do the light, I gotta put a window. All right, so he has got a big window so he can see the he can see the the uh, the outdoors. So I'm lining the top of the window up. There's his window. Look at this. He can open his window up and see the world. He's got this huge window. All right, now, so then the thickness of the window is horizontal. So you go horizontal, right? And then you draw that thickness, and then vertical thickness of the window, horizontal thickness here, and you got your window. All right. Uh, Una, Una saying, can you slow down? Well, good thing is you're going to have this recording on... Um, YouTube and on Facebook and on Instagram, so you guys can draw your one point perspective room here, and then look at all of his friends. Look at here's I'm gonna put here, his friends are looking in the window. Look at this. Here's here's one of his friends here with curly hair looking in the window. Look at his here's all his friends. Look at his friends here. So I'm gonna Luca's got dark hair. I'm gonna give Luca dark hair. There's Luca's dark hair. He's got dark hair, right? And then there's his friends looking in the window. So his friends are his friends are in the window there. So now I'm going to shade. I'm going to put a little bit of shading here on those friends. And now I got to put that light. I'm going to put that really cool light coming down out of the ceiling. So four shorts in circle. And he's got this really cool light that comes down here. And it bends over here. And it's just this really awesome, this really awesome artist light here. You see that? And he's got his light over. So he can he can reach up from the ceiling and he can he can put that light in any position he wants. Hey. Oh, look at vertical first perspective. I, I always keep in. My, that's right, Mr. G's just salon done on Instagram. The horizontal and the vertical, straight up and down, and everything lines up for one point perspective. Like this is a vertical line. But if you're doing a freehand, give yourself some, some grace, no problem. All right, so we have his bed. We have, I'm going to erase these lines so you can see it here, see? All right, now, so back here, here, back here. Luca, Lucas, Luca, type in your mom and your dad's name. I'm going to put, you, you have a big picture of your family. Okay, so you, how many brothers and sisters and mom and dad? Tell me how many people in your family. This is, the, you have a picture. You you did this painting of a, your family, and you're going to give it, it's a surprise. You don't, you don't let anybody in your room. So four counting me. All right, so there's mom and dad, Luca, and who, a brother or a sister? Type in. Okay, so here's, so here, look at, here's dad. Is dad taller than mom? Luca? Luca's on my Zoom class, so he's answering. All right, so here, look at, his, here's dad in the picture, and then here's mom, and then here's, and then here's, here's, here's his sister. His sister's like peeking in here. Here's, here's his sister. I'm going to give his sister curly hair, and then here's, here's his mom. Here's his mom. There's his mom, beautiful hair. Then here's his dad. There's his dad, looking cool. So there's his mom, his dad. He did this wonderful painting. There's his sister. And then he painted himself. Look at, he painted himself in the picture looking. He was upside down. Look at that. He's in that picture. He's in the, the, the portrait down here. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? And I don't know why my phone keeps going off. Sorry about that, guys. I got to turn that 
that uh, it keeps shutting off. I don't know why. Sorry for the Instagram people. All right, so there's his portrait. I'm going to put a frame around it. Isn't that fun? Now, you know what? I'm having so much fun on this drawing that I don't know uh, if we'll have time to do a whole exterior, but let's let's darken inside here. So we have Luca's uh, bed, his kitty cat pillow, his blankie. There he is sitting here. Is sitting here on his chair. He's getting, he's drawing. And there's his legs. I'm going to darken underneath his desk here. And, then, and there's the shading on his, on his stool. And there's the corner pillar of his, uh, of his uh, desk. Little shadow underneath there. So much fun. I'm going to put maybe a little shadow on the ground underneath the blankie. I love these little details. Love, love, love these details. All right, now, over here, I'm going to put, over here, the, he has he has two floors. He got he has two stories. I'm going to give him a, uh, on the, uh, over on the other side of his bed, look at this, a vertical line. And right here, look at, I'm going to give him, this is a, a secret stairway. No one knows about this, but but Luca. He has this, this secret door, right? And people, uh, if you don't, don't know it, when he shuts the door, it's just a closet, but what? But really, look at this vertical. It's a stairway. It's a very steep stairway, and it goes up to his secret landing. So I'm going to use the ruler. It all lines up with mom's nose, right? So there's that, and then there's the next lever of the steps. See, the steps line up. See that? I'm having problems with my phone shutting off for my Instagram, so I'll just keep on. Looking up and having to click it. it. Looking good. I love seeing all the comments on Instagram. Hi, Instagram. Hello. Good to see you guys. I'm going to wave to you when, when, when I can. I'm going to wave to you guys. I'm going to wave to you guys if you're on Instagram. Hello. Hello. Hello, Instagram. Hello. Hi, YouTube. <clears throat> hey. Hi, uh. Hi, Donovan. Hi, Patrice. Hi, Patrice. Look at all these people on Facebook. I sure love these. Oh, it looks like my camera is locked up. All right. Now, to make that this stand apart, let's go ahead. And I'm going to put, uh, let's put some more. Uh, let's put some more arms. He has these robotic arms up here. See this? And so this this robotic arm right here, this 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 is the, the it retracted. But what this is, this is his bed making. This, this is his automatic bed making uh, robotic arm, and this drops down from the ceiling when he wants to make his bed. He just pushes a button, and that drops down. Okay, so that's his automatic bed. And then he loves he loves popcorn when he's drawing. So right here he has this automatic this this popcorn dispensing unit, and it comes down here, and it drops down out of the ceiling. But wait a minute, I, I put it the wrong perspective. You're not going to see the, you're going to see the, you're going to see this. You know, I'll just put an orb. This this orb pops down and it, it pops a whole tub of popcorn here. So he has three robotic arms. He has his popcorn automatic arm that drops down. He has his cool light and he has his bed making device. Isn't that handy? So now down here. Down here, I'm going to draw the bottom of the room. Let's shade this wall. I'm going to shade behind that, that painting there. So, this is so cool, you guys. I'm having so much fun. Thanks for this idea of drawing the interior of your room slash art studio slash secret entrance to your second floor, Luca. Luca, what's what's upstairs? So, here's this is the painting. I'm going to put some extra... Uh, shadow behind his painting here and there's some sh there's Luca he painted the portrait he's very talented he did a secret portrait for his family okay and then I'm going to shade inside see there's a horizontal line for the top for the top of the uh the top of the uh, secret stairway right and so then I'm going to of course you're going to shade the the ceiling the ceiling's going to be shaded. Then I'm going to shade inside of that wall. 
I want that wall to stand to stand out. So take your time. And then I'm going to kind of darken in the bed, the darken in the sheets, the, the quilt. Maybe I'll put a little shadow underneath that quilt here to really make that quilt look fluffy. See, I just love the little details. Well, what do you think of your room? Do you like your room? Do you like your room here? Now, outside, here, what you can do is... Maybe his friends are over here. If you, it could be a really blue sky, but I'm going to take this and I'll, and I'll darken it in to make it the outside really. He has his window open. He opened his window so he can talk to his friends. So I'm going to put this contrast back behind here. There's his friends in the window. Looking cool. Oh, that was so much fun, you guys. That was really cool. So this was based on You Can Draw in 30 Days. This was a page out of the book, You Can Draw in 30 Days, a wonderful book. There it is, right there on the side. And you can order that on Amazon.com. Quick, uh, quick pitch here. If you guys remember, I have summer art camps, virtual summer art camps, Zoom summer art camps. Sign up with my website. 14 weeks of summer camps are starting in two weeks. This is great. Hey, uh... You okay? Thank you. Hi, Neha. I'm so glad you're here. Look at all these people on Instagram. Look at we have uh, hey, Robert Donovan, Patrice on Facebook. Good to see everybody. All right, we have about let me see if I have time. You know what? I'm gonna save this for tomorrow. That's all the time I had today. I got to get ready for my New York City webcast. But I want you guys to save this for tomorrow. We'll do the exterior tomorrow. And if, if you guys are on uh, Facebook or on uh, YouTube, I'll come back tomorrow about the same time, 11 o'clock. Uh, we'll do one more drawing. So this is one point perspective interior, which is alignment using the, the Greek word perspective rooted in spec, meaning to, to view, to see, to view the depth, to see the next dimension. Some things are closer than the others. Remember, all these words I'm talking about, this chart is free at draw3d.com. A lot of you are already members of draw3d.com. And that this passcode, we're going to get this passcode for 50% off. It's going to start working again later today. Kistler50, capital K, Kistler50, okay? So you have that. Uh, what else? Um, I think that's it for now. Hope you guys uh, have fun and uh, uh, join me for... The lesson tomorrow, if you're on YouTube and Facebook, okay? Um, Melody, would you go ahead and save that recording? And good to, goodbye, all my Zoom kids. You're awesome. Wait, wait, wait. Before you go, I want to see your drawings. Okay, Lee, it's all right. Hold up. It's all right. You just turn the recording off. Hold up your drawings and uh, let me spotlight them. I want to see your drawings. Hold them up here. That spotlight. Uh, hey, that's Luca. The, nice job. Here, let me see Una's. Hold on. And then put Una's up there. And then let me see Melody's. Look at Una put a post. Ooh, Una's always doing crazy. And the Fatima did all kinds of cool robot arms coming down. Una, let me see it one more time. Let me see your Zoom one more time. Una, Una, let me see it one more time. She did post. Now, Una has been drawing with me for the whole year. Same with, with Fatima. And Luca's been with me for, what, about six months, right, Luca, on my Zoom? And look at uh, Una always does this. She always comes in the camera sideways. She does this. We call the Una maneuver. She does that like that. And then she's going to do it on the camera. Watch this. Here she comes. It's really funny. It's a little scary. You don't. You're going to hurt yourself. You are so funny. I just love you guys. I can't believe this is week number. Uh, here, I got to put this. I don't have time right now. I got to get going. But this is week 40. One more week. Okay. I'll be here tomorrow, 11 o'clock. Bye, everybody on Zoom. You're awesome. We love you. Goodbye. And then I got to say goodbye to Instagram. Bye, Instagram. Thanks a lot. I got to go to New York City and do this. Goodbye. And we'll share the IGTV in just a second. And I'm going to say goodbye.